Hey Houston, I am here driving in the Heights looking for the first Saturday arts market. Let's see where this place is. I see the white tents. All right, let's go check out some art. Cheers, Erica. To Saturday Thank at you. the Arts Market. Welcome to the first Saturday Arts Market. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so tell me, uh, you know, about a little bit about yourself. Well, I am an artist born and raised here. I've been an artist my entire life. And when I started the art market, I was a full-time um, decorative painter. Now I'm a full-time event coordinator. You have so many amazing artists here, uh, from jewelry to painting to soap. And so tell me how um, that all kind of comes together and who's here. Well, the artists that are here are all original. They all make their own thing. Even the jewelers have made some type of component that goes into the jewelry, whether it be glass, ceramic, or metal. Mitch, I want to hear your thoughts on the Houston art scene because, you know, it's 2018 and, you know, I feel like with art, the question always is, are people really creating new things? Is oh, yeah. New things oh, yeah. It's, it's, Houston has the best and one of the biggest art scenes in the country. In fact, um, at Sawyer Arts Complex, the creative complex over on Sawyer Street, is the second largest creative co campus in the country right now. They have over 400 artists in six different buildings, and a lot of the artists that attend this show, Market, have studios there. What I see at the Market and it's, at places like that is the artists who create from the heart, like they're, they love the art, Instead of thinking about the bottom line, like the dollar, they they have the best ideas. Being genuine in your art, absolutely, right, is the, kind of the point, I guess. Absolutely, you have to be you have to be into it for yourself first. I mean, even just this this art market to me is an art form. I mean, I feel like people coming out, Thanks. walking around, you know, enjoying themselves, drinking a little bit of wine, and connecting with the community. I mean, you can't beat that. The atmosphere of having. The community and there's like different um, businesses that are here besides the artists like the food trucks and the wine vendors exactly i mean what better saturday fresh right? art yeah. exercise eat come right, to the art, market. art exactly tell me about your relationship with the artists here when i started the market the only artist i knew i invited to be in the show and i got a handful but it's turned into its own little community because they come back and so we meet and we see each other every month and so a lot of them are that we're all really good friends, and they're friends with each other. I started the market uh, 14 years ago, and there was nothing else going on quite like this. There was no monthly events. The art scene was kind of scattered. It wasn't organized. There was that's why I started the market. There was like so few options for artists. The surprising thing now is like Houston is like filled the space, the void. The people in Katy want to come to Houston. The people in Sugarland want to come to Houston. So. I'm staying here. I, I, I really agree with that. I mean, I think Houston has blown up, really, in terms of showing our uniqueness and what we have to offer. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. And, you know, this is amazing what you guys are doing here. Thank you. Uh, I really want to see the rest of the market. I'm so excited to see all the pieces and things that you guys have. I can introduce you around. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's go. I'll show you some of my favorites. Come yes. on. I've been making soap for 15 years. Uh, I make art soap, which is a little different than the usual soap maker. I cut out pieces, set them in the bars, I make designs, I make sceneries. I try to do things for all the different seasons. These are some new fall soaps I've come up with. They're out today for the first time. This is so beautiful. Thank you. My soaps are also made from vegetable oils and organic cocoa butter. They're very good for your skin. Yes. They're natural. That is what we want. Yes. That is what people want is right. the natural stuff. 
my name is John Delafield. Uh, I'm an eighth grade art teacher in Pasadena, and I also make this pottery and come out on the weekends and sell it at the different markets. Uh, the pottery I make is um, stoneware. It's fired to 2160 degrees. Uh, the pottery is a combination of something to hold the chopsticks, and I'll put a Chinese character on the front. I love to make coffee cups, so I've got quite an array of coffee cups up here. Wow, I love coffee cups. I could probably collect all the coffee cups in the world, I think. Yeah, I've been an art teacher for 15 years. I want them to see that there's one of a kind things out there that only artists can create. So that's my, that's my goal. I want them to have a love for art when they move on into high school. This show is full of a lot of great artists and uh, I just, I feel honored to be part of it. Been out here for over 10 years. So I'm about to get some food and I mean, there really are so many things to do in Houston and this is definitely one of them. First Saturday Arts Market, it's in the books and I will definitely be back. So Houston, take note.